worked. Good morning and welcome to the Dark Mom Consortium for November the, I was going to say November the 2nd, November the 12th, 2021. I'm Mom and he. Yeah, this is me, the Ed. Hello the there. Ed, the Ed, I love that, the Ed. It's because <laughs> you're the sine qua non of Eds, you are the Ed. Yeah, I uh, woke up with one, well, I got up early and I looked at my stuff and a lot of it was stuff that really can't be shared. I had D1 arthropods and I did have uh, destroyed destructible torpedoes and I wanted to try something out just for snicks because you know I love just going and sitting there on Scylla and Charybdis and taking out the uh, protomatter torpedoes. But I thought, you know, this is my uh, Klingon and I'm trying to figure out how to get the remaining 1100 ships. Apparently, uh, destructible torpedoes count as ships. So, I cloaked, waited for it to come by, uncloaked shot it, cloaked, uncloaked shot it, and just waited for all 18 to slowly pass in front of me, and lo and behold, they actually counted as ships being shot from ambush. And I suppose I could have done it with torps, but I didn't have a torp on the ship at the moment. So I went from having um, like 1,500 to 1,562 this morning. So, you know, that was kind of nice. It's tedious. It's really tedious, but hey, it was something to do this morning. Well, that, not a bad, uh, not a bad morning at all. It was a good experiment, and you know, you could probably sit there and do it for all twenty-five hundred. But that would take better part of a day. I don't know that I want to sit there for a day. So now I have to sit back and think, okay, in the second sequence, they don't shoot them off one, 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 they shoot two and two. So I'm trying to think if I can effectively find a way to hit both of them at once. Hey, I have an absolutely um, cool for me useless information for everybody else, but um, Phoenix upgrades are the best world and dog upgrade methods I'm aware of. So far, cause uh, yeah, they come with a small discount, and when you unbox them and downgrade the purples to blues and the blues to greens, you get plenty upgrades. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. I totally agree with you. Yeah. Now this was my uh, result this morning. Bought thirty boxes. Uh huh. And got. 61 upgrades means um, 105% oh. or, 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 no, or okay more than 100% extra upgrade this time how did that happen yeah it was just um, you know uh, random generator uh, the little fortune engine the, the, I have been lucky you have been lucky just that's amazing. Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe I'll have to roll the dice on that one today. When, once I get to Chicago. Since apparently I've gotten lucky enough in that the snowstorm that was supposed to hit while I was driving home decides to hit tomorrow night overnight. And instead of being an inch or two of snow, it's just supposed to be eh, a little bit of snow. So, yay. Because, Ed, there is nothing like a 200-mile drive in snow. Ugh. Um, uh, that's a kind of maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, not doing that again. I've learned my lesson. If it is snowing and I'm up there, I'll stay up there till it's done snowing. If I'm down here and it starts snowing and I'm supposed to go up there, I'll stay here. How would you feel about a patrol, Ed? We'll do in a uh, jiffy. Um, okay. My, uh, I'm re uh, rebuilding a, a small ship at the moment. No worries. And um, that uh, takes a moment. Hey. So my uh, legendary pilot bird of prey, which I really am enjoying. I mean, I don't know that I want to keep it long term. 
but I've got it as a cannon build and I'm thinking that actually might be where I take it with whatever I do next. I like the maneuverability, it's pretty good. It's a nice little ship, it's um, fun. I love the cannons up front. I need to figure out what I'm going to do in the back and I have some upgrading to do on that. But I've already got the Terran Task Force Disruptor dual heavy cannons on it, which are my favorite ones at the moment. I'm trying to think of what makes another good dual DHC. Uh, oh, hey, um, I was distracted by inspecting my own ship in, at that moment. But um, as I see immediately, um, really a uh, regular beam weapon in back, not a second beam, uh, Omni. I have this Omni back there. One Omni and one regular, I see. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have a lot of equipment yet. That's why I'm going, hmm, what would be good uh -huh. to put back there? What shall I go buy? Especially, but um, it's... Um, now, uh, see the, when, when you move the window uh, a little bit down so I can see your front weapons, that would be nice because of this... Um, down. down yeah, I know. I'm, I'm looking at the other one to see how down is down. Okay, so up front, uh, yeah. I've got a uh, Disruptor Dual Heavy Cannon. I've got the Terran Disruptor Dual Heavy Cannons. I've got another Dual Heavy Cannons, and I've got the Disruptor Quad Cannons. Um, you are Disruptor build? Yes. Okay, I wake up my weapons, miss, and send you something. Well, you, you don't have to. You can just tell me. I won't say this too much. Wide much. angle disrupt, wide angle dual heavy disruptor beam. Okay. One only one permitted, but mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure I have one in my in my vaults. I, I go to Google things and I don't always find a lot of info. Um, ye, uh, sometimes Google is your friend, and sometimes it's Google Schmoogle. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Since they modified this to uh, the Stowe fandom, it's a little bit meh. -er. Okay, so wide arc disruptor, dual heavy cannons. Um, yeah, one will be in the mail uh, for you. Well, thank you. Oh, you can actually make those puppies. Piper is my weaponsmith um, and um, first character build, so uh, Piper and Edata are uh, R&D heavy uh, Brondomoogie or this is, Brondomom? Uh, this is Brondomom. Brondomom, okay. Yeah, this is my tune. Kefa. Yes, trying to very slowly get all of her preliminary stuff done from the old Klingon ones. And I realized I have two more Klingon recruits that I started, but given how long it takes to get through all the basic stuff, you know, the 2,500 kills, the 2,500 ambush kills, all the missions and everything, I don't know that I'm going to do the other ones on this. I may just play them and not worry about them being recruits. Or I may get mm -hmm. rid of them and free up those slots for the next event. As I'm sure there will be another event. Let me check something here, though. Uh, there we go. I was doing Sphere of Influence. No, I wasn't. <clears throat> I was doing the Romulan arc yesterday. And that whole overlighting down in the ruins, the underground ruins, I couldn't see a thing. So I had to turn off the lighting and then you get back to other scenarios. It's like, where is everything? It's so dark in here. Jump down to the mailbox. Thank you, Ed. Might as well update some of my notes here. I met somebody at PPT, somebody who doesn't play very often. He's like, I can't take it out of the mailbox. Go to the mail kiosk. Oh! Didn't know that. Oh, guess who was on last night, Ed? I have seen Vare yes. in the brig. 
Yes, he was on last night. He was chatting with us. He reloaded the game. So he is back. Um, we have our fear. We have our we have our fearless leader back. Hey. So fun. So good. We have our fur back. All right. Would you like to go run a patrol? I have complete one. Complete the tweet here. Pardon? Uh, co complete the chip change here okay, and then yeah, patrol. Yes, yes, yes. Absolutely. Yes. Go finish your chip change. I will go over and get rid of some of my stuff that I just picked up. Since I have to kill some Undine ships. Oh, is there a patrol with Undine ships? No. Oh, shoot. I'm thinking Voth ships, aren't I? Hmm. Uh, we could do a TFO if you were interested. That would be the Cathay Front, Klingenweiss, if you dare, yes. I can do the Cathay Front, Cathay I Front. think, on this. Yeah, I ran it on but the ship yesterday and was eh, eh, tolerable. Tolerable is a cool word. If anybody's talking to us in Twitch, bear with me for a second. There we go. No, we're good. We're good. I see you guys are out there, so hi. That's not what I wanted to do. So we've started chit-chatting about the winter event. Probably still have a good three to four weeks before it starts, though. Started mid-December, no, not mid-December, early December last year and ran until early January, and I expect we'll see the same thing this year. Yeah. You decided to be creative. <laughs> it's really a mess. Oh, and we finished the Iconian arc on this tune last night. So, slowly chewing away at all the arcs on this one. Huh? So I got finished with the Romulan arc yesterday after I got home from work and then started working in on the um, Iconian arc over the last three nights. And then next week we're going to focus on people getting their ships set up and leveled. Of course, it's beta that's undone. I want a quick trans warp across the Solene dice or the uh, Dyson sphere because it's always oh, it takes so long to get over there. I'm not even halfway there yet. Ah. Uh,
I had made I now Sometimes they do that, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, sometimes they do that. Okay, now saved. I did pick up the uh, Discovery ground set for my captain here, but I think the rest of my tunes on this character need some beefing up. So I will be going back and revisiting um, Uneasy Allies for the Romulan Imperial. And what's the other Romulan ground set? Is that off Survivor? Um, yeah. uh, Survivor is yeah. the other Romulan ground set. If you want to stick to the Romulan ground set, it's, it's fine. Well, for my you. bridge officers, it's you know it's good. I don't have to buy top of the line stuff mm. as long as they just don't die. And also, you can do mirrors and smoke. Oh, that's or smoke right. and mirrors. Yeah, no, it's mirrors and smoke. You're you. right. And uh, that is um, yeah. Um, Let's see, nasty little weapon set for bridge officers if you go mission wise. Yeah. Let's see, what is that? The, oh, that's a Kentari set. Yeah, yeah, that'd be good. I picked up the mass-produced missile launcher because I love that one. Um, awesome fire rate. And mm -hmm. Very effective uh, weapon, too. Yeah. Now it's uh, time to clean. That is especially putting the upgrades into the account bank before scrounging uh, 20 characters again who has done his last upgrades when was it so i have a little over well, a little under a thousand more ambush kills to get uh, that gets tedious Um, well, on Klingon recruits, uh, there is uh, cool stuff long haul wise, and yeah. there is um, boring stuff long haul yeah. wise. Yeah, it's it's a lot of long haul on the Klingons, much more I think than anyone else. So I still have to work on my R and D, ambush kills, uh, Endeavor. I'm getting there with Endeavor. I've got sixty-seven thousand to go. But you and I get playing, and I forget to switch back to this tune to do my endeavors. Let's see, what have we got here? Ooh, I've got lots of stuff here. I have to improve or upgrade my Batleth of Stovacor. I have to reach 10 in Klingon Admiralty, uh, 4 in Marauding. I have random cues to work on. Random cues to work on. More random cues to work on. Uh, cues yeah. against Romulans. Cues against and by humans. the way, you have an unclaimed prize. I, I do. I, I saw. I yeah. do. I just claimed it now. Yay. Yeah, well, those are for. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, okay for the Klingon, but the um, rest of the count. 25 lead marks. Eh. The story it's... arc rewards. That is cruelty. Well, yeah, it is. But hey, they didn't do the work. They get the little side boost from it, but they didn't do any of the hard stuff. So not for them to worry about. Yeah. So um, I'm ready uh, for Petrots, if you like. And also, of course, for a um, uh, St. Kathy Front. Why don't we queue for St. Kathy Front? Uh, Ketzerin? 
Serene, yes. All right. And let's do some Kathy Front. And I do have defeat Terrans on the ground if maybe we want to throw in a quick Pavo Dissension. Mm, yeah. Okay, let me queue up. Is it Kathy Front? Let me do this, though. There we go. I have us queued. So next week, Ed, we're going to be playing with leveling up ships. So I thought it'd spend my weekend and maybe set up um, like five or six ships that I want to level up. Get everything set up so we can just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Because DT will not be on in the first hour to maybe the first two hours of the night show. So I figured, hey, now is the chance for me to do all those things I've wanted to do rather than getting into our habit of doing the same missions over and over at night. Yeah, because the time night rolls around, almost everybody's done their dailies. They've done their endeavors. Did I do my dailies? I think I did my dailies. Let's take a quick peek. Yep. Hmm. This is being slow. Yeah. Well, let's give it a moment. By the way, yes. um, there will be a patch again Yeah, today. I saw that. I saw that. Yeah. Um... Last big issue was certain Intel graphic boards apparently got oh. just black out when um, Star Trek Online was running. After patch, Intel was happy, and AMD boards got blackouts when playing Star Trek Online instead. Oh my gosh. So it's patch, repatch. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe I need to queue us for a patrol while we're waiting for that to happen. We definitely need kind of ground patrols. Um, definitely. That would be really nice. I, I know we have one night in Bozeman, but we only get that for first contact month. And I really would like to see some more ground stuff. That is so much fun. I think, you know, with ground patrols, though, you actually have to kind of create a story versus space patrols. We don't care about the story. We just want to shoot things. Yeah, but for Terrence on ground, that is definitely calling for a Pavo. Oh, it is. All right, I can queue us for Pavo as well. Would you like me to? Yeah, sure. Okay. Thank you for Pablo as well. Uh, we are queued for Pablo as well. Let me just double check yeah. that. St. Kathy Front and Pablo Dissension. Okay. I'm surprised it's not blowing up with people wanting to get these done first thing this morning. Ooh, there's our Pablo. We will. Uh. Okay. Let's see what I got on this one. I don't need that. That looks good. It's not fabulous. I need to pick up some new toys, I think. Watch, somebody declined. Ah. There we go. Yeah. Oh, I'm right next to you. How fun. So we have Dekik, we have Alan, we have you, we have me, and we have Viconia. Yeah. All right. Um... We had Vikonia with us yesterday. I thought that name was... Oh, last... Uh, okay. 
yesterday dark mom called uh, uh, mom and advice uh yeah that's what i thought yeah and seemed to know what he she it was doing And I see the kick's got some damage on him. Concussion. And actually yellow one, that is. It does not recover easily. No. Should go to the barrack at corners. Yes. Or see the doctor on Deep Space Nine Northern Sector. We metal medical care. It's also a good reason to have a couple of regenerators of all sorts with you. Okay, let's see where people go and we'll... Okay, Viconia is going to the right. Someone went under that, so let's go here on this one. I lost totally view of all. Uh, you run... Where? Waterfally or...? No, I went up the hill. Up the hill. Uh, we have two hills up. This um, one right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The others went off on the other two, so I figured we could do this one. That's annoying. Thank you. I love, uh, I love the plasma white beam right <laughs> again and again and again. It's uh, I love crystalline prisms just sitting here going, yep, cooking them. Wow, it's not telling me that we're clearing them, but I can see that we are. Let me place the crystal. Uh, Perrin, hold, tricky doodle, uh, bad karma, whatever. It's um, yeah, but it's. Let me get off there. See if it'll let me place it now. There we go. 
Well, just for that, Mr. Terrence, I'm going to make you unhappy. Put my crystals down. You good over there, Ed? I'm fine. Okay. I assumed as much. It's me, my targies, my ambush turrets. And the call occasional. A police crystal is under attack. Defend it. Did you just saw somebody new join us? Huh? Yeah. Alan joined, joined us. Nicely done. The crystal has been purified. It has been we are. purified. And up the other hill. Yep. Like Konya as a tank engineer. <laughs> See the uh, circle around her? That's the photonic barrier from my Konyan reputation. Oh, nice. I didn't know there was one. Gives in... temporary hit point while you are in the circle. Nice. Definitely need to go look at that one since I... Yeah, I've definitely got a Konyan rep done. And since I'm still harmonic a little squishy. Emit yeah, and um, also um, harmonic emitters from, I think, uh, temporal reputation is the other temporal hit uh, point trick for engineers. And they move with you and give oh. benefit to the entire team. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, a team-wide buff. So, uh, bioharmonic emitters would be my primary choice. Okay. Found the entire team invulnerable for a bit. Okay, you going to your usual spot? Uh, some of uh, one of those, yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, Viconia is over there. Is mine. Yeah, and I yeah. got Alan over here with me, so we're good here. Almost fell off the cliff there. That would have been bad. Oh, the kick is doing dual nano pulse. Uh, 
Example the um, stuff uh, close combat. So he wants it close and personal. Good morning, Ghost TV! How have you been? Stowe has been awesome. Thank you for asking. Wish I could take some credit for it, but... I'd say I just work here, but I don't even work here. But I've been enjoying it. The last few stories have been just fabulous. Alright, Gary, you're done. Let's see who we got. Oh, they're both done! Well, yeah, well, our close easy. combat guy did a good job. Indeed. Indeed. Well, there's another new patch today, Ghost TV. But no, I was talking about the last episode, which was Firewall was fun. A um, couple of technical issues have been popping up, but seems that they're working on them. My sadness has only been that my internet has been, yeah, we don't have to work today, <laughs> which is annoying. Let's see what we are at here. Okay. Having a cookie for breakfast. Oh. Ooh, cookie for breakfast. Good. <laughs> so true. Gingerbread season. Oh, Okay, so up in Aachen, there's this kind of soft gingerbread. I don't know what it's called. And they dip it in chocolate, which is really weird with ginger and chocolate together, but it's so delicious. Um, uh, Aachen is uh, one of my... Um, Printen! Capitals, the Printen. The Printen, yes. And they have varieties. Yes, of, um, yes, they do. Um, almonds, um... In, in the chocolate the chocolate cover, or just nuts in the chocolate cover. Mm -hmm. um, there is a bakery that made them fresh over by the cathedral, and they would have this little kiosk outside during the winter, and you could go there and get the fresh printing, and they'd have one little piece, one side of it dipped into chocolate, little tiny bite-sized ones, and they'd be oh so good. And I was always telling people, well, I'll bring some home to you. <laughs> that never happened. They didn't even make it to the airplane, let alone home. <laughs> so I miss that. I actually, it's so easy to get there next time I'm in Europe. Um, if we go to London, you know, you can take the train over to Brussels and then jump on a different train over to Aachen. And it's time for yum. But I want to go back in the winter again. I mean, summer was great. It... Summer was fabulous, but Christmas time was amazing. And uh, now let's see uh, for the Zen Cafe. Okay, let's see if it goes this time. So, how are you doing, Ghost? And by the way, when done here, we should raid Wolfie. Oh, great. Yes, we'll definitely raid Wolfie then. Yeah, has been streaming all morning already. Wow. That's either really... Yeah. No, hold it. It's a normal time of day for her. Okay, that's fine. I was thinking it's really yeah, eight, like... but nope. And um, she got an armory and... Uh, yeah. Um... Hey, sorry to hear that, Ghost TV. My husband's been going through, um, not chemo, but he's been going through treatment for his cancer. And come to think of it, I think he has to go down there today for his last um, white cell harvest, and then he gets it reinfused on Monday. And in theory, that should be his last treatment 
for a while, fingers crossed. But this is third time through cancer with him, so yeah. He's, he's had an interesting time. He's been on experimental protocols and they've been very effective. And this one, um, they didn't even do chemo. They're like, yeah, we can do this with just a treatment with very few side effects other than, well, a few minor side effects. So yay. Yeah, my Is he fine with it? Probably not, but it beats the option. <laughs> I mean, the alternative is not being fine with it and being dead with it. And uh, it's not really good on that one, which I can totally get it. So I hope you're doing okay. It it can be a really long process. It can be... Well, I used to work in peds, he monk, so I've seen it from the nursing side. And there's one reason I don't do nursing anymore after seven years. It's just like, nope, nope, done with that. I think seven years is about it, at which point you start to lose your humanity. For nurses who can deal with it longer, they are awesome. And doctors, obviously. And it's really interesting, Ed, when my husband goes to his doctor, his doctor is very engaged and involved with him. But when I was at the hospital, the doctors seemed so distant from their patients. Um... Um, it's, um, uh, same observation here, uh, doctors in hospitals, it's, um, sometimes you feel like, um, hmm, but now I'm a piece in a factory. Yeah, very much. Yeah, I think that's one reason my husband doesn't go into the hospitals. You know, they do as much as they can remotely, and I th think at most he was in there for two super minor procedures with me dropping him off at like nine in the morning and picking him up at one o'clock and that's it. A couple band-aids and he's done. But my son has been in the hospital more with his heart issues than my husband has been with his cancer over the last 35 years. Wow, it does not want a cue, does it? Uh, sometimes, yeah, it's a little bit uncooperative. I have little tiny bugs all over my apartment. I brought in my winter plants. And they brought in a fair number of little bugs, which I guess won't survive too long now that it's getting cold. And I don't have food out. There's not much for them to eat. Wow, I can't believe it's being this slow to load. Um, maybe it's endeavor time for many people. It, well, that should make it load fast. Well, yeah. But maybe they're not um, Zenkethi ships. Are you going for uh, Zenkethi ships? Okay, Mom. Um, you asked for petrol. Yeah, I was just going to do it for fun. I didn't need it for endeavors or anything. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Mind if up oh, no oh, yay we, we threatened it we threatened <laughs> it and it said yes 
Yes. Um, we'll, we'll do something else. No, no, come play with me. I had this evil mind mentioning to switch to Federation dudes, and suddenly, oh, no, 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 no that cannot be. We want them clean. <clears throat> hey, Ghost, we have friends in Sydney and Melbourne and Perth and Brisbane, and a co-worker was from Canberra, Canberra? Oh, that's amazing. I have friends there. I have two friends down there. Well, not literally there. One's here and one's here. One's in Hillsville, and the other one is... I'd have to go look up his address. Actually, somebody from the game. So, yay. I'm hoping to get down there before he comes back up here, but with things the way they are. <laughs> Good morning, Swear. Yes, it is the land of giant spiders. And drop bears. Sunshine? Have you got the bomb? I got one. Okay. Do you need a hand or are you good? Um, I do on my own. Okay, I'm going to give this guy a hand right. just to play it safe. Probably doesn't need me, but what the heck. Gives me a chance to check out my new cannons. directly into the base, which has not exploded yet. Ooh, my piloting's bad today. I'm not ignoring you, Ghost. I'm not ignoring you. We're just trying to remember how to fly a ship. Somebody else got the bomb. But it's actually not that bad once you get into it. And you know that there's a couple of tricks. I.e. whole image refractors are a godsend. A good team is a godsend. Drawing aggro away from your teammates, great. Down to one. <laughs> All right, does anybody have a bomb? No. I love ground. Alright. Where is 
is it? There it is. And we'll just drop him this tiny device here. Alright, now we can get him. You, you can, uh, it's, um... Destroying bases means no more attacks on our base, means mm -hmm. more marks. Uh. That makes up for the other night when we didn't get it done in the right way. Okay. Sweet. Yep. Ghost, I think enough people are playing this particular uh, TFO now that everybody's got a better handle on what you have to do and how you can do it even if you're maybe not the best equipped player. So this tune definitely isn't the best for it. My Federation guy is awesome at it because he's got all the toys and decent gear. I got about five minutes left here. Ed, um, got a taste for anything for the last five minutes? Last five minutes, um... Yeah, but... Oh, it's a little bit more than five minutes. So a pattern would be exactly our uh, food now. Okay, let us team up then. Uh-huh. Yeah, legendary is fine. To fine toys for legendary. Um, let me see. Yeah, so this is my legendary bird of prey. Ed, what's our preference on this one? Mm. Then, um... Okay, some uh, some seldomly done is um, seeing the Alachi. It's uh, Alachi, Alachi, Alachi. Sentinels. Oh, okay, sure. I haven't done that in a. While. Maybe you switch to advanced. Yeah, absolutely. Sentinel, Sentinels. Attack quadrant. There it is. Donatu? Yep. Okie dokie. I'm ready to launch. Launching. Haven't yeah. done this for a while, and so it's... Um, <laughs> See, Ghost... something different. Ghost, I go into these things with way too much confidence because there's Ed right over there, and I know my butt is protected. And so I go in and I fly stupid. Nothing can hurt me. I got an Ed. And then Ed went no. away for a while, and all of a sudden it's like, ah, I'm on my own. This is terrible. It's funny you mentioned that, Ghost. We were talking about Phoenix boxes this morning. Oh, this one, yeah. No, I like this one. Yeah. Long time no see. Mm -hmm. It's none of the ship leveling stuff, and none of the... Almost, uh, out of They're not off can be an endeavor sometime, uh, reason, but, um, yeah, you have to visit them for fun because you want them in particular. Actually, you know, that's a really good point. Maybe we need to do an evening of, uh, all of the TFOs just for fun. Actually, this would be a good one maybe for the ambush kills because they stay all nice and clumped together. Let's give that a shot. I think I'm at 1562. Fifteen sixty four, okay, let's see how that goes. I was afraid of this. More 
you have to call them. How dare they? Who do they think they are? Ah, they wanted to catch up, catch us on the wrong foot. I like my aliens to come out in this precise order and at precise locations. I swear, I still have prize ships I've never even unlocked. I've got six tickets from uh, 2019 that I haven't used yet for T6s, T5s. And I just, I'm like, oh, do I want this or that? I'll just wait. And then I never pull the trigger. Hey Ed, it's going to be a fun day at work today because of a major disaster Wednesday night. Almost everybody's staying home, so it's me and the shipping team in today. <laughs> it is going to be a quiet day at work. Oh, I'm looking forward to the days when when Eknat has done his... Um Endeavor duties, and then there will be getting cuddles, getting cuddles, Yay, getting cuddles. and of course, um, Mort and the Green Cobalt. Oh um, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And um, of and, and my whole bunch of Federation uh, characters who are now at this moment saying, "We are Federation." Yes, you are, but we are Klingon, Klingon recruits. <laughs> Clay rec recruits in the Federation. Gotta love it. And our timing is absolutely perfect, Ed. It's 6.59. So just about the time I need to get myself logged off because I have to haul all of this stuff out to the car for my trip up north for the weekend. Oh, let's raid Wolfie! Okay, we're going to go raid Wolfie. For everybody else, thank you so much for joining us. Um... We love you guys. You guys are awesome. So we're going to go raid Wolfie. Let me switch to the right thingy. I picked the wrong thingy. Let's pick the right thing now. That's the one I want. All right, everybody, go follow Wolfie. She's one of us. She loves you guys. She loves us. Wolfie, Wolfie, Yeah, Wolfie. and everybody, have a great start to the weekend and stay awesome. There she is. Ooh. All right, we are going to raid them. Have a great day, everybody. Uh, everyone, good language. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one, raid. <laughs>